writer said it this way. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being told to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world, and dancing with each other when at times you might be tempted to retreat to opposite ends of the dance floor. It's doing things for each other, not with an attitude of duty or sacrifice, but with a spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. Instead, it is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. And finally, it's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. constant friend, her partner in life, her true love, to love her without reservation, honor, respect her, protect her from harm, comfort her in times of sadness and growth her in mind and spirit? I do. And Julia, do you take John to be your husband, to be his constant friend, his partner in life, his true love, to love him without reservation, honor, respect him, protect him from harm, comfort him in times of sadness and growth him in mind and spirit? I do. John and Julie, you've declared your intent to marry. You've spoken vows of marital commitment to one another. You've sealed those vows through the exchange of rings. And now based on your desire and your willingness to be married and the privilege vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the throat. Get enough, but we could go. 